Okay, I wanted to show people uh, some of the controls within Teams. So I'm in a team meeting. I've got uh, Drew and uh, Mr. Hardcastle and Mr. Joran in here to participate with me. The first thing is, if you click on participants, a little bar will come up here on the right. And this works a lot easier if you're not in full screen. So down here in the bottom right, there's three dots that allow me to control the way that people enter. I can automatically mute everybody when they enter the room so that I have to uh, ask them to unmute when it's time. I can turn on or off the ability of people to unmute themselves. I have it off. Okay, and the reason for that is someone starts to be disruptive, I want to be able to mute them. So for instance, uh, let's just show that. Drew's got some stuff going on. I, I just muted Drew. And Drew can furiously try to unmute himself. But he can't. But he can't do it. But I can, once I give him permission, but I still, uh, uh, can you still uh, listen to it? Yeah, you can. You can still listen to it. Once I give him permission, he can unmute himself. By, so I ask him to unmute, then he can do it. So I can mute him when I want to, and, he, and then I have to ask him permission to unmute. And I think that that's a really good control. Another part is, is that, say you're having Great. a whole group to see. Yep. Also... If you see it, you know, it does, like maybe they, you think they just have their laptop open, but they don't have their camera on, what you can do is mute them and then ask them to unmute. And if it takes them a long time to respond, then, boom. Right, then you know that they're not there. Right. Like Mr. Hardcastle. Yes. Like I'm Mr. Hardcastle. Right, Mr. Hardcastle, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. But you don't know that, so you got to mute them. <laughs> <laughs> So let me show you one of the other parts too. So if I open up chat, I have a box here too. And I can and I would want to leave both of these open. But I can go into the chat. You can see some of the playing that we were doing here earlier. So there's a couple of options here. This is what the students, can, who they can send messages to. I have it set as host only. Meaning they can write a message, but the only person that's going to read it is me. That does not stop me from being able to take what they said and share it with the group. It just puts a buffer in. So if I wrote uh, host only, now uh, somebody, uh, just guys type some messages quick. So I'm the only one seeing those things. But if I want to go ahead and share a comment that somebody else had, I can literally just copy it, paste it down to the bottom, and I can choose to send it to everyone. But if I wanted to just reply uh, back to Drew because uh, with his comment, I can choose any member in here and say no. And then, so I've sent that message to Drew, but nobody else has seen it. So that's right, one so of the nasty. controls there. There's also controls here in terms of uh, screen sharing. I can have one person share at a time. I can have multiple participants, but I can also go into advanced and say that only the host can share their screen and shut off the ability to the students to do it. I can change this anytime within the meeting. So if I'm going to get them